What's going on guys? Today I have another gas station cigar review. This is the Acid Red. Now I am very interested in trying these. I've never seen them packaged this way. I've had plenty of different acid cigars um, and they're all funky and they're full of flavor. Whether you like them or not, you can't deny that they are flavor bombs. So this one again is the red one. They have of course a bunch of variety. Um, you see the tag on top says 99 cents so it's 99 cents for one which is a little more expensive a lot of times the gas station cigars super cheap ones are like two for a dollar so we'll see what this is all about but first i want to read the back it says the rebirth of cigars uh, the acid smoking experience is like no other prepare yourself for the intense taste of the acid bold red cigarillo the super rich blend of complex aromas releases the monster within by delivering pure bliss unachievable from any other uh, ever created throughout history. That's a bold statement from old Drew Estates here. So, yeah. These cigars are predominantly natural tobacco with non-tobacco ingredients added. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As we know, all the gas station cigars are, or at least the majority. So we had this one comes in a box. It's like a cardboard box which is kind of nice, keeps it from getting crushed as easily. And then we have the traditional cellophane wrapper. So what's super nice about these and all gas station cigars is that they last forever. They don't go stale because they're like vacuum packed. So we have a little rip tab. It's a real shame because I like a good excuse to use my knife. Oh, that smell. Oh God, it, it's so... It's like potpourri. It smells like someone's like 65 year old aunt to put on too much perfume. But the perfume's kind of good. I don't know, what, what does that say? All right, well, we're gonna give it a go. It's, it screams acid. It is definitely an acid cigar with that smell. So, there's a round end and a flat end. I think I did this mistake on one of the <laughs> videos everyone ripped into me. Dude, you're an idiot, you smoked it backwards. Uh, does it really make that much of a difference? If there's flavoring on the end, then sure, maybe get a little more flavor. I don't remember which one was the right end. Um, the flat end, I think, was facing up, maybe. No, no, the round end was facing up. I'm gonna smoke it with the flat end in my mouth. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light the flat end. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get both ends wet. I'm going to lick it. There is definitely flavoring on this end. There's nothing on that end. Okay. I'm going to light that end. That's how you figure that out. All right. Here we go. An acid red. If my match doesn't go out. Come on, little match. I gotta build that. Come on. There we go. Okay. After all that, you guys are gonna tell me that I'm still smoking the wrong end. But I'm telling you, something's extra sweet on this side, so whatever. All right. A lot of flavor there. <laughs> yeah, I'm still middle of the road with the flavor because there's a ton of it, which is, you know, thumbs up. That's great. You want a lot of flavor. But I don't know if I'm into that flavor. It's kind of like onions or garlic. It's like, yeah, a ton of garlic is awesome. Unless you don't like garlic, and then it's, a, then it's not so good. Um, totally different experience, though, from the backwoods because the backwoods was super lightly packed and kind of rough and Kind of felt like it was hand rolled, to be honest. Um, and this is very much machined and smooth and it has a tighter pack. It's a little bit heavier. I feel like it's going to last a little longer. Of course, it's smoking fine as they all do. Yeah, I mean, the flavor is, uh, it's not horrible. I mean, if you like any of the acid cigars, you're gonna like this one. Just straight up, it's like every other one, only it's packaged, you know, uh, as a small little cigarello and you can get it at the gas station, cheap. So, there, I mean, there's not much more to it than that. 
I, I want to say that there's another red, like a large size red. I think I've had that before. I just don't remember. And what's funny about um, the acid cigars, well, it's not funny, you're not going to laugh, but what's, I don't know the correct word then, what's um, unique about um, these cigars is that there's so many different weird flavors. Like, they're all weird, and they're all completely unnatural, things you would never taste in tobacco ever. You could tell that there's a bunch of different added flavors going on, but it's such a mix of things. And that's why I say it's perfume-like, because there's a lot of perfumes where there's a bunch of different flavors or scents. I forgot to turn off my phone. <laughs> Hold on a second. Jeez. Ding. That's professional. Okay. Airplane mode. Thank you. Um, there's a bunch of different flavors that on their own are very distinguishable, but when you mush them all together, it's like, ah, oh, it creates a new thing. And that's what these do. They create new flavors. So, like, there's no way for me to really even describe what this tastes like. The best description I can give is that it tastes how some potpourri smells or how some, uh, not cologne, perfume specifically. And more so, like, I say old lady perfume, not because they're, they're marketing certain perfume for old ladies. It's just there's certain types of perfume that were popular 50 years ago. So, 50 years ago, you know, 18 and 20 year old girls were using a certain type of perfume and they use the same thing until today. You know what I'm saying? So like old lady perfume is only old lady perfume because it was popular when they were younger and they only used that their whole life. That's all. Same thing with like old guys cologne. You know, there's a difference between smelling some like teenager who's wearing Axe compared to you know, some old guy that's wearing, you know, cologne that he's had the same bottle for 35 years. You know, he puts on for special occasions. So it's just one of those things. Aramis. You know, if you want to smell an, an old guy cologne, look up Aramis. I actually have a bottle. I kind of like it. Uh, but I'm saving it for when I'm old. And there's another, uh, it's funny, my wife tells me all the time, because I have a Cohiba, since we're talking about cigars. Well, let me smoke the cigar a little bit instead of talking so much. I have a uh, Cohiba cologne that I think smells wonderful. I love it. Oh, it's such a, it's such an awesome smell. It's so deep and complex and wonderful. And when I was dating my wife, well, now wife, when she's my girlfriend, I, uh, I put on one day and she's like, oh, dude, you smell like, like an old guy. <laughs> I was so disappointed because I love it. I still have it. I never got rid of it. I'm keeping it until uh, retirement, I guess. I don't know, but I think it smells great. Big difference between men and women, you know, what, what you think they like and what they actually like. But hey, everyone's different too, so I'm sure some women like that smell. So anyway, yeah, I'm digging this uh, warmer weather, you know, 40 something degrees. And uh, it feels nice in comparison to really cold. So uh, the, um, the strength is super mild, which is really nice about these cigars too. Like if you happen to like this flavor, the extra bonus I would say if you're new to cigars is that it's really, really light. So you're not gonna, or you're less likely I should say to get like um, a headache from it or any kind of nausea or anything. All those symptoms of a strong cigar, which is really just the onset of nicotine poisoning, which is a, a huge sign, by the way. If you're smoking a cigar and you start feeling sweaty and dizzy and stuff, stop smoking the cigar. Nicotine, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe nicotine is the most powerful poison on the planet. So, I mean, I've read that a couple places. I'm pretty sure that's correct. And uh, it doesn't take much to kill you. Now, you'll never die from smoking a cigar, but what I'm saying is that if you're, keep, if you're smoking a cigar and you're feeling those symptoms and you just keep pounding away at it, you, you might pass out or throw up or, or something bad's going to happen. If you guys remember my dip video, that's what happened. I got a ton of nicotine when my body was not used to it. I got a ton of nicotine all at once and I got immensely sick. The room was spinning. I was vomiting. I, was th I mean, I had nothing left in me. I was just dry gagging. It was, it was horrible. God. I was sweating. I felt like I just jumped out of the shower. 
Um, so yeah, if you're starting to feel those symptoms, just stop smoking. But anyway, uh, the point was that this has nothing like that. Like you could probably smoke a bunch of these at once and, and be fine uh, as far as the effects because it is a lighter tobacco. So it's a ton of flavor and not a lot of strength, which a lot of people enjoy. And that would be myself included. That's what I'm looking for in a cigar. I mean, generally speaking, some of the cigars that I, I smoke that have a lot of the flavors that I like, uh, full-size cigars, um, they tend to be stronger cigars, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a fan of like a really strong cigar. It's just I don't smoke them enough to build up a tolerance to that. It always makes me feel a little bit, a little queasy, you know, or a little jittery, stuff like that, or start sweating. But yeah, some of those uh, nicely aged tobaccos, that's where you pick up a lot of those flavors and uh, it just naturally tends to be a little bit stronger. So occasionally you come across a, a really nice quality cigar, premium cigar, that isn't so strong in the, the power uh, side of things, but has a ton of flavor. So uh, just saying, that's the bonus of a lot of these different um, you know, gas station cigars, but specifically this acid. And I don't know how long we've been filming here, and I've been smoking, but like I thought, it's a tighter pack, and it's a heavier cigar, and it's lasting longer. There's a literally more tobacco here compared to, like, the Backwoods. I feel like at this point I was done with the Backwoods. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for a dollar, you're getting your time's worth anyway. You get a longer smoke out of it. And, of course, the burn's totally fine, like it should be, and all the cigarillos that are out there. Never get any kind of burn issues at all because it's such a small diameter. So no issues there. I'm going to do a little retro hail here, see what that feels like. A little bit stronger. Um, I actually picked up some cherry, which was really weird. I'm going to do that again in a second. I'm going to let my nose cool off. It feels like it's on fire right now. But I had a very strong cherry flavor there. That was weird. But yeah, overall, it's just very potpourri esque. Or remember, old lady perfume. <laughs> no fault to the old ladies. It's just what worked back in the day. <clears throat> I'll give you another. Here's a little PSA, by the way, with both perfume and cologne. If you leave the room and a couple minutes later it still smells like you're there, you're putting too much on, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like the appropriate amount, and you know, who am I to say what's the appropriate amount of cologne and perfume, right? But hey, it's just my advice. I think that your cologne should, or, your, or perfume should only be smelled by someone who's close to you, okay? You don't shower in the stuff. A little bit on the wrist, a little on the neck, you know, it's an intimate thing. If someone's smelling that cologne real good or smelling that person, it's because they're you're being intimate. You're you're close to that person. You know, it's supposed to be subtle. It's an it's an accent. God, some people, man, I go to the grocery store and like I'll walk by, there's not even anyone in the aisle. They could have been gone for ten minutes and it's just smelled like a whole bottle just exploded on the ground. <laughs> Not to mention, that gets expensive after a while. God, if you're dousing yourself in, in cologne and perfume and stuff every day, jeez. Anyway, that's just a little PSA for you. Spread the word. All right, let's uh, retro hail again. And by us, I mean me alone. I don't know why I say that. But you're coming along for the ride, so you can watch. Yeah, it's weird. I get a, I get a very distinctive sweet cherry flavor. I guess it's going through my nose. I could smell it. Maybe that's what. It, I mean, I'll call it a smell. Um, yeah, it, it's really standing through. That is specifically cherry. So yeah, that's weird. If you have one of these things, let me know if that happens for you as well. About that much left. Yay, big. 
<laughs> reminded me of my uh, grandfather. My grandfather was uh, randomly, because I'm wasting time talking while I'm smoking this because it's lasting forever. My uh, grandfather was an awesome dude, uh, but he was very much old school. Like, I'll give you an example. Never had the internet, never had a computer, never had interest. My father would tell him, like, you got to get a computer. He loved to read. He's like, you could read so much stuff for free. Nope, don't want it. Never had the internet. Never used GPS or anything like that. Always used maps. When I went on my trip with him when I was 18 years old, uh, we used maps. Maps everywhere. He loved it. But he had this joke he'd always say. I'd be like, oh, how far are we? And he'd say, look at the map. And he'd show me where it is. And he'd say, it shouldn't take very long. It's only half an inch away. <laughs> and I always remember that. And when I was showing this cigar, I just thought of that randomly. So, yeah. I, I miss him terribly. My big, uh, it's not a regret because I don't have a choice when other people pass away, but one thing I'm, I'm very sad for is I, I wasn't able to have conversations with him as an adult, you know, like really as an adult. So, I mean, if you're, if you're younger and you got aunts and uncles and grandparents and parents and, and you're just, uh, you know, not too close to them, I mean, build those relationships. I'm telling you, one day you're going to regret it. You know, we all take that stuff for, for granted, and one day they're just not going to be there. So it would be nice to, to get to know them, to really get to know people, you know. But anyway, I don't mean to make this a deep video. It's a gas station cigar review. Sorry. I'm just thinking about it, I guess. Getting uh, sentimental. God, this thing's lasted forever. I'm done with it. Like, <laughs> it, tastes, it tastes fine. It's not hot. There's plenty of smoke left I just don't want to smoke anymore <laughs> it's uh, I don't know it's like maybe you know what I'll say this is like it's like cake okay here's my analogy I love cake cake's great you know you have a piece of cake it's cool maybe a big fat fatty and you want another piece of cake you know maybe you're skinny and you want another piece of cake but after like two or three pieces of cake I mean come on how much cake can you get that's how I feel with this like at first it's like oh it's okay it's not bad it's an okay cake but I don't want any more. I'm done. But guess what? There's still a cake there. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't want to waste it, would you? Because I'm doing a review, I'm going to keep smoking this thing. But I'm telling you, if it was just me, I'd go, okay, I get it. It'd be out. I'd be out the, you know, 38 cents that was left on it. Who knows? <sighs> it is nice being outside, though. I'll tell you that. I definitely get some cabin fever in the winter. I don't like being cooped up when it's cold and there's nothing to do, you know. But even if there, there is stuff to do, sometimes I don't want to get all bundled up in 15 layers and put on big old heavy boots and trek out into the, the wilderness and Mother Nature's beating on me, you know. So, anyway, anyway. Yep. God, you don't realize how loud cars are driving by until you're trying to film something. You know what I'm saying? If I was just sitting here, I'd think, okay, someone driving by. But right now, I was thinking, man, they're really loud. I will say I'm starting to smoke this faster because I want to be done with it, and it's not really getting hot. A lot of times when you keep puffing on something, it... It literally gets hotter and hotter and it kind of blows out any kind of flavor, but there's so much flavoring in the tobacco and it must be in the actual tobacco itself and not just the wrapper. Cause it's just so strong, you know? And it is consistent, you know? If you do like that flavor, you're gonna taste it every puff until you're done. And that's definitely a bonus. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait a second, I'm gonna give it one more puff and we're calling it a day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last puff. Here we go. Make it a big one. All right. That actually got hot because I dragged on it too long. 
All right, so uh, you can smoke for another minute, two minutes, something like that, but I'm done. I'm done with it. My conclusion is this. <coughs> okay, so my conclusion is that I think it is an excellent, and I really mean this, it is an excellent gas station cigar if you happen to like the flavor. Now, I'm kind of on the board with the flavor. It's nice that it's different. I don't think I'd, I'd enjoy these too often. Um, but there's a lot going for this one. Number one, it lasts forever. Okay, so you're going to get a really long smoke. In fact, this is probably the longest smoking cigarello that I've had in a gas station form. Okay, um, so that's a bonus. Number two, it's super light. All right, so you're not going to get like, you're not going to feel dizzy or anything like that. Okay, and maybe if it's your first cigar, maybe. Or if you have a really low tolerance to nicotine, which is possible for some people. Some people might be allergic to I don't know, that's probably a thing. I know there's people allergic to alcohol. They get severe reactions when having alcohol. So that, that could be possible. So, um, super light, lasts forever, ton of flavor. Those are what really you want in any cigar. But especially for 99 cents, that is a huge plus. Uh, but like I said, you're going to know immediately whether you like that or not. It's like taking a bite of a food item you've never had before. That first bite, you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.